How do we remove an ingrown toenail? Well, I'm going to show you that in this video. This is an extreme close-up of how we perform an ingrown toenail removal. So this patient had a severe chronic inflamed ingrown toenail that had been going on for months. And you can see that side of the toenail is growing into the nail fold, which is that aggregation of skin or that large collection of skin next to the toenail. And what happens is, a number of things can cause this. It could be a tight fitting shoe, it could be your sock, you could cut your toenail the wrong way. And as you pull at that nail border, and, and if you clip it and you miss a portion of the toenail and a piece gets left behind, that will create an infection because that spike will grow into the skin as that nail starts to grow out. So what we're doing here is we free up that corner of the nail, we'll start a little cut with our nail nippers, and then we're going to make an incision in the nail plate with a small chisel blade and that's what we're doing here we're slitting or making a cut in that nail plate with a small blade all the way back under the cuticle or what we refer to as the epinicium and once that's cut the whole way we want to make sure we go all the way under the cuticle because if we don't we can leave a portion of of the nail matrix or the area that forms a tunnel behind and that can get inflamed. So that's all been cut and you can see we're now going to grab that portion of the nail plate. We twist it away from the nail fold, but this one was so irritated and inflamed and the patient had been picking and cutting at it that it's coming out in pieces. So here we're getting another portion and this is interesting because as you see this here, as that portion is coming out, you're going to see a small portion remain. And this is very crucial to any of my residents or other practitioners that are just starting to do this watching. If you leave behind that proximal portion of nail plate and you don't get all of it out, it can act as an irritant to a patient that's recovering from this. So you're going to see that portion here in just a second. Most of the nail is gone, but you'll see there's a small portion that's still hidden under that epinicium. And I'm going to demonstrate that here as this physician is getting that portion out. So there's still a little small piece that remains. And you, as you do enough of these, you'll be able to tell that. Now this, that's some dry, crusty material overlying a granuloma and a granuloma is just a hypertrophy or an enlargement of skin tissue on that adjacent nail fold so we will remove that now we're going deep under that cuticle area and you'll see where that remaining nail portion is now what we're cutting out here is some adipose tissue because the infection was so bad that it goes beyond the nail bed into some of the fatty tissue and you want to make sure you're cleaning out any debris because any of the nail spicules get left behind that can act as another site for bacteria to accumulate on and create an infection. So that's what they're trying to get here. They're going after this deep portion of nail plate that is left behind. And as I said, if you aren't diligent enough or you don't know that that's in there, one might think here that you've got it all. But if you've done enough of these and you look and inspect, you really want to inspect under that epinicium, you'll see that small portion. And you'll know it when you get it out because it's a glistening white portion of the nail fold, I'm sorry, of the nail plate or what we refer to as the matrix. So it's a portion of the matrix, but there's also matrix cells deep under the epinicium. You can also use a hemostat sometimes to grab it. It has some, there it is, and that's that whole portion there you can see that we got out. And we'll clip away the rest of that granuloma that's growing on there. And some more of the inflamed adipose tissue or that hypertrophic tissue that's growing under there. You want to make sure you get all of that out. And that will allow for the infection and the inflammation to calm down. And there's the portions of the nail plate that were removed. And then sometimes after that's done, we want to go back and there'll be a little flap of skin that will sometimes remain. You want to make sure that you get that out of there. And if you're unsure, you can use a curette, which is a small instrument to kind of inspect under the cuticle area to make sure that you have everything. And we're making sure you want to be very meticulous to get any of that inflammatory tissue out of there. 
You can see some more of it's coming out now. And that's it. Once all that's out, we'll put some antibiotic ointment on, a gauze bandage, and the patient will start soaking it twice a day in warm water and Epsom salts and Neosporin in a Band-Aid. Hope you like this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. If there's anything you want me to post, any of the surgeries you want to see that we do, make sure to drop a comment below, and I will try to get those uploaded for you.